All right, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to factor a difference of squares, all right? So remember, factoring is uh, writing your expression as, as a product of factors or like a multiplication problem, all right? But in this particular uh, video, we're gonna learn how to factor a difference of squares. So it has to meet certain criteria. So what is the criteria for a difference of squares? Well, first, think about the word difference. That means subtraction. So you have to have a subtraction sign. So it has to be a subtraction problem. So in these three, or a subtraction expression, three cases we have a minus sign, meaning subtraction. All right. You have to have only two terms. So subtraction, two terms. Each of these has two terms. And they both have to be perfect squares. Perfect squares meaning... Like 9, because the square root of 9 is 3. Uh, 16, the square root of 16 is 4, and so forth. Now, when you're looking at exponents, like here and here, your exponents need to be uh, even. And to take when you take the square root of it, you're just going to simply take half of the exponent to get the square root of it. All right, so let's try these three problems. All right, so we're going to... Write it as a product of binomials. All right. So I'm going to have two terms in each set of parentheses because that is what a binomial is. So two binomials for my answer because when I multiply it back through, I should get what I had originally. So now what you want to do is take the square root of your first term and let that be... Uh, the first term in each one of your uh, binomials. And then you're gonna take the square root of your last term and let that be the square the last term in each binomial. And then each one would just have a plus and a minus. So let me just show you, all right? So the square root of 100x squared is, the square root of 100 is 10. The square root of x squared, remember I said just take half of your exponent. So half of 2 is 1, so my exponent is just x to the first. So the square root of 100x squared is just 10x. So I'm going to write 10x at the beginning of each binomial, all right? And then the square root of 81 is, of course, just 9. So I'm going to put 9 at the end. And then I'm just going to separate it by plus and a minus. And I have factored this difference of squares here. Let's check it. Distributive property, 10 times, 10x times 10x, 100x squared, 10x times nine, that is negative 90, or times negative nine, so negative 90x. Nine times 10x, it's gonna be a positive 90x, and then uh, nine times negative nine, will give me negative 81. Negative 90 plus 90x cancels out, and I am left with what I had originally, 100x squared minus 81. All right, so I have factored this difference of squares. All right, so let's try this one. Box that in. Again, you just take the square root of your first term, so the square root of x squared is just x, we take half the x on it, so x and x. The square root of four is two, 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 plus, minus, all right? It doesn't matter if you put plus or minus, first or second, so I could put plus here and minus here. It does not matter um, as long as you have plus and minus, all right? If we check it, x squared minus two x plus two x, Minus 4, the 2x's cancel out. Again, left with x squared minus 4, which is my original expression. All right, so let's factor this last expression here, or this last difference of squares. Go ahead and write my parentheses. All right, so the square root of 121b squared, square root of 121 is 11. The square root of b to the second is just b. 
Remember, take half the exponent, so half of two is just one. We don't put the one, there's an understood one. So first term in my binomial, or each binomial, 11b plus and minus, or minus and plus, it doesn't matter, all right? And then the square root of nine c to the eighth. Square root of nine is three. Square root of c to the eighth is just c to the fourth, taking half of eight. So I'm gonna to try to fit it in here, 3c to the fourth. All right, so I factored this expression, 11b plus 3c to the fourth and 11b minus 3c to the fourth, or vice versa, remembering that you could actually switch your signs here. All right, so we factored these three difference of squares. Okay, so I have three problems here that I actually would like for you to try on your own. So go ahead and pause the video, all right? Pause and try to uh, factor these three difference of squares on your own. All right, so hopefully you got these correct. The first one you should have gotten x plus 5, x minus 5, or x minus 5, x plus 5, vice versa. All right, so you should have gotten those two binomials. The second one here. That is not a DOS or a difference of squares. Why? Because you have a plus here. So you could not even factor this. It does not meet the criteria. It has to be a subtraction sign, two terms, and perfect squares. You have a plus here. So you cannot factor that second um, expression here. So I thought I'd throw that one in there just to kind of make sure that you remember the criteria for difference of squares. All right. And then the last one here, you should have gotten 10p plus 5q and 10p minus 5q. And again, you could have switched your signs as long as you have the correct terms and they're in the correct order. All right. So hopefully you got um, the problems correct when you factor. All right. And you know how to uh, find factor difference of squares now. And thank you for learning with me.